Uh, that's a good sign. It turns over to the game and the Elgato doesn't immediately crash. Welcome, good evening, everyone that is here. Um, hope everyone's having a good day. Um, more Breath of the Wild. Let's go. I, I, I had the Elgato plugged into the uh, laptop for uh, a good while before starting stream in the hopes that uh, it might help. Because normally uh, it is to towards the beginning of it being plugged in that it acts up. Usually later on it doesn't act up as much, so it's hoping. Right, so uh, yeah, last time. Just turn a little bit actually, since it is a quiet game. And turn up my personal volume so I can hear it. And so yeah, last time we did the intro, everyone knows the intro to the game. We got ourselves a glider. So uh well actually, just to save battery since it doesn't display anything on the touch screen. I'm just gonna lower down that brightness, save battery. So when you're playing Breath of the Wild, because all it shows is the uh Tap here to go to the gamepad. Also, it has to load back in the game once you've uh, given the home menu and back. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, since it just displays the tap here to play on the gamepad screen, um, yeah, there's no point playing it at anything like on higher brightness than just one when you're playing on the Wii U. So yeah, before we jump off the plateau, uh, as you might remember, remember I didn't really go over to this end of the map. So, uh... Let's head, let's head over that way for... Just, just explore a bit before, uh... Before we, uh... You know... Before we uh, go on over to the uh, off the plateau, right? I <laughs> just reacclimate myself with the controls. Um, anyone who's been in the Discord or Ben's streams this week will know that I. Uh, just picked up Xenoblade Chronicles X, and uh, I've been playing that a fair bit this week, so uh, yeah. Control the controls are different, <laughs> so I need to remember that. Nope, that's not the sprint button. <laughs> I'm going to keep trying to press ZR to jump and uh, clicking the stick to sprint, aren't I? <laughs> X-Hype Woo. <laughs> yeah, except I'm playing that in my own time, not on the stream. Because I've already got a big enough game to stream with this. That was my last club. Nice. I can always pick up a tree branch. Can't wait for muscle memory related deaths. Mm. I mean, I kind of almost just had one coming off the uh, tower. I like completely forgot what was the glide button. <laughs> That said, I looked at a map size comparison between Breath of the Wild and Xenoblade X because I was curious, and it's like Xenoblade X's map dwarfs Breath of the Wild's map, but also uh, 
Breath of the Wild is a, you know, you move around slower, so, you know, it makes sense. Mr. Ben. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Not the sprint button. <laughs> Stop clicking the stick. All it does is crouch in this game. You just get acorns for killing squirrels. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, these sort of map traversal methods are very different in the two games, so it's like, you know. I do kind of, part of me wishes that the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild got to keep some of its gamepad functionality. I know it would have ended up making the, um, I know it would have ended up making the Wii U version, like, the Switch version seem worse by comparison. Be like, well, why you pick up the new console if the older version has more features, but like, you know. Like, so I get why they did it, but, you know. At the same time, it would have been cool. Yeah, like, the map is very interactive, whereas with Xenoblade X, from what i played so far, obviously it doesn't have all, like, the interaction and physics stuff. Uh, the gamepad literally displays this. <laughs> it's just a graphic that says, tap here to play on the gamepad. And then you can play, like, off TV play. Like, the sound comes with the gamepad when you go off TV play. But that's it. So, you know, these are exclusive graphics, <laughs> exclusive visuals you are seeing to the Wii U version. But yeah, it's kind of a shame that uh, they did completely axe the uh, gamepad stuff. But, like, I get why. Because, again, it would be like, you know, why play the... why get our new con... it would kind of look like why get the new console when the old version has more. So, you know. I get it. Let's be... Let's be strategic and sneaky and all that. Sneak up on these bicoblins. That woke them up. <laughs> Maybe the next time Nintendo gets hacked we can get a beta build with Wii U features. <laughs> That'd be cool. I mean, even if they just like let you look at the map on the gamepad, even if they like took out them even if they had to like take out the map function the actual functionality of the map. That would have been cool. Like just being able to see the map on the gamepad would be useful. Because it's useful in other games. <laughs> Use a big club to stealth kill. It's not that big of a club. It's just a one-handed club. <laughs> Ah, blue light shade. Look at it to increase your stealth. I was going to joke about what's stealth, but I did kind of do something stealthily just now, so yeah.
can I climb up here? With the amount of stamina I have. I should be able to. It's not that high up, is it? We also jump, I should be fine. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit more uh, Pluto exploration before jumping off. There's something up here as well. Nice. What's up here? Oh, arrows. That's actually quite useful. Ain't got no time to climb down. Or glide over to another area. I thought I actually would work out where the uh, you know, place using the map has gone. <laughs> like where it actually placed. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I just placed it using the map in the hopes that it would guide me, but it didn't really guide me. Let's remove that actually. <laughs> okay. Now that I played X and I feel its influence. Um I mean, I, I guess in terms of the way the world is constructed, like, oh, it's one of these. Like, I'd say the world is kind of the main thing, because, like, obviously, gameplay and, like, approach to stuff in gameplay is very different. Like, the way you approach stuff in gameplay is very different. Ha, huh, nice. <laughs> Go on, investigate the bomb. Never mind. <laughs> Can I roll too far? Yeah, the verticality aspect. I'm guessing in X, the main one of the main reasons for the verticality is the, uh, is like, because of um, like to incentivize skills and stuff later on. Whereas obviously in this game, the. Uh, Verticality is for climbing. Shield, I want the uh I want the um monster bits. Fire hmm. arrows. That again is quite useful. Hello. Speaking of verticality, let's get back up there. The vertical is coming from among this obsession with making areas you can see big scenic vistas from. Yeah, that does seem to be a bit of an obsession of theirs, considering the other Xenoblade games. Because <laughs> I like, don't all of the Xenoblade games kind of like, have a bit like at the start or near the start where it just like, sort of, puts you in a massive open field. <laughs> where you can like, see really, like, you know, where it's just like this massive sort of scene. And obviously X does, because I've experienced, well, so on stream and experienced it myself now. But like, 
The next thing which we have here is called scenic viewpoints. Ah. one of those. I will say it's kind of weird going from Xenoblade X which plays music every, well, yeah, every, you know, in most well most places I've been to so far um, to this where obviously it's a lot of silence or well, obviously there's a reason for it you know it greatly helps with the atmosphere, and I do enjoy it. This is like one of the few games where I like, sort of, where I actually enjoy the quietness. So most games when they go quiet to be atmospheric, I don't really tend to like it, but yeah, with uh, with this game, obviously, it is it is good. Yeah, like it works well in this game. Although it does feel a bit weird in um, Mario Odyssey, the bits where it's like quiet in that. <laughs> it's like, you know. It's like, it's a Mario game. <laughs> Hold on. Hey. Ooh, a soldier's broadsword. Nice. Actually, instead of just dropping the shield, let's break it. Hold on. Want to break the shield? There we go. <laughs> I just enjoy seeing Link tumble around. Is there something funny about it? Yeah, the yeah the yeah the silence. Yeah, it does sort of. It makes the uh, times that music does play all that sort of better. It's like, up here it's like all grass and sun, as soon as you go here it's like, snow and cold. <laughs> hmm. him with the box, there we go. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> it's fun smacking things with, with boxes in this. Ooh, baked apples. I'll take that. It's a nice uh, coincidence. Yeah, it's just amusing in this particular case. Ooh, roasted bass. Nice. Wait, get back here, Arrow. <laughs> oh, another arrow down here. Or more arrows than just one. Oh, it's up here. Amber. Eh, yeah, that's still useful. Just in case. No. Anywhere else? Hmm. No, I think we are good. Can we go up to the tower. See ya. <laughs> Yeah, I am going to be a tiny bit boring. Uh, I'm going to sort of generally make my way over to Kakariko and then Hateno, mainly just so that I can start getting access to like the camera and the um, ability, like the ability to upgrade the um, Sheikah Slate, um, like the runes. Yeah, less so for story and more so so I can, you know, so I'll start getting access to being able to upgrade stuff. Just because upgrading stuff is useful. <coughs> oh. Oh. I didn't uh, peek the microphone too badly. It's roughly in the, in the, in the direction in this one. Right. See if there's any shrines on the way that I can uh, mark. And obviously, there's the top of the. Uh, Fueling peaks. Hmm, that looks like it could be a uh, talus. No, I can't really see any other shrines as of yet. Yeah, the upgrades and stuff are nice. So yeah, let's go. Off the plateau. And already. Oh, nice. Why is Ben so sussy? <laughs> Which Ben are you talking about? <laughs> Oi! Thought you were dead. Rude. Also, uh, welcome. <laughs> Sweet Deku. <laughs> oh, Deku. <laughs> ben of the Nine. There's nothing up there, why am I climbing up there? Ah, uh, the field music. Such a calm, serene piece of music. I mean, it comes in bits and pieces when you're actually playing, but... It's just such a nice piece of music. Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Already bloody damaged. Ooh, more amber noise. Oh. If this is an active one. Okay, no, it's inactive. Okay. Because they will uh, have a stab at uh, doing something with it, but no. Is this book always here? Oh, this is from the um This is for the DLC stuff. Mm, I see, I see. <laughs> I practice those shield parries. Mm. Yeah, I'm not very good at the shield parries. Or, uh, mm. Again, the most important part of the uh, DLC is the Nintendo Switch shirt which exists when you're playing on the Wii U as well <laughs> again, Wii U Switch! <laughs> Wii U Switch actually let's keep the Switch t-shirt on just for the irony <laughs> for now, just because I have nothing that has better because I realised last time that it actually doesn't have very good defence, like nothing else I had had good defence. apples. <laughs> Very nice. Can I get something? And from you? There we go. You knew they couldn't give the Wii U version a Wii U t-shirt, it would be the better version. Yeah, obviously. If they had given the Wii U version a Wii U t-shirt, that would have been really funny. It was like advertising a uh, console that was, at the time, basically dead. Anything in here? No. Let's check in the Switch version of Wii U Tom and get the Switch Top exclusive to Wii U. That would have been really funny. Especially to like the especially like for the Switch owners that don't know what a Wii U like you know they don't they don't know what is a Wii U, <laughs> you know. Oh my first twenty rupees. 
Now, my usual tactic to get money in Breath of the Wild is just to, like, sell monster parts. <laughs> um, because I don't really tend to make, sort of, elixirs very much. So I tend to just sell mon most monster parts, like, a lot of my monster parts, rather than necessarily uh, making stuff with them. So hopefully once I'm third of it I can be in good money by getting lots of monster parts. Yeah, I probably don't really uh, want the rusty claymore. I can't remember if I've been through all of these bits or not. <laughs> I think I've been through all of these bits. Really well fast, the upgrades will definitely max out. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, I, I never sell all the monster parts I have. I sort of sell like half or whatever. Anyways, um, one thing I was going to, you know, I don't know why you have to turn that feature on. But yeah, let's, uh, while we're in a, a nice open space, just uh, look at the Wii U graphic there. Yeah, we'll, uh, use an amiibo. Well, I can't remember if the Zelda and Lothling amiibo does anything special, like whether it registers as a Zelda amiibo, like a Zelda character amiibo, or not. I don't think it does. See ya! It's got some stuff. But, you know, doesn't really matter, because, you know, not why I got the amiibo, because I just got it because it's nice. The... Is this the talus or is it just a rock? Oh. Oh, just a rock. Kind of seemed it would be a talus. Uh, oh, what amiibo was that? The Zelda and Lothling one. Very nice amiibo. <laughs> Oh, that one's a talus, right. Oh, focus on the thing, no. There we go. Ouch. Use the spear tactic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the spear tactic only works for so long. Grows its arms. Ouch. Right. I can totally take one of these on with my um with my current uh, gear and sort of level essentially. <laughs> Totally, 100%. Oh, 
Uh, camera, 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 camera. Right, I need to get him to fall over. No, fall over, not swing. <laughs> It's doable, it's just going to take ages. Ow! Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to fall over on me. Well... <laughs> my la oh, my last save was like ages ago. Or did it auto save? <laughs> oh, that thing auto saved. <laughs> Let's go. We can do this. Possibly. Oh, it's in a Blade Chronicles 2. <laughs> a game that's not on this console. <laughs> okay, I think I just have to be like right underneath it for it to like try and crush me. Right, that's easier to dodge really. Out. <laughs> He's even getting the attention away from X on Wii U, SMH. I know. Sad. Try and fall over on me. Come on. You know you want to fall over. Or not. It's, uh... It's, it catches on to what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I could try cooking dishes the game, or I could just throw myself against the wall until I eventually uh, beat the wall. I could waste all my arrows. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah. Um, I think I know what your tip is going to be. <laughs> Link, you're the only one who can defeat the Demon King, Ganon. Link dies repeatedly to a big rock. Of course.
<laughs> We're balanced for a little bit. Okay. We're no longer balanced. Ow. Okay. <laughs> I'll give it a few more tries, uh, then I, I get I will move on if <laughs> if I uh, keep failing, just so that I'm actually doing something rather than just this for like another hour. <laughs> It's mainly that my, uh... Oh, yeah! This is happening! Mainly that my offensive capabilities aren't very good yet. I'd say more so than my defensive stuff. Well, I suppose defensive as well, but, like, if I have more... offensive capabilities... If I have more offensive capabilities, then I, uh, you know, I'll be able to do more damage to it quickly. Oh, the glowy ones have more health, do they? <laughs> Lovely. Probably intentional that they put one, like, the harder one near the start, um, to, like, mess with you, like, to mess with your head, sort of thing. Like, I'd, I'd guess. <laughs> So the camera doesn't necessarily help matters. <laughs> one on the plateau, will you? Oh, is there one on the plateau? I mean, I'm just like... Like I said before, I'm kind of just, you know... This playthrough is just like a, you know, play it by ear kind of, you know, just do stuff as I find it kind of playthrough. As opposed to, you know, actually having a plan. I feel like to me that like is a more fun that's like my sort of preferred way of playing the game, like not having a plan and just kind of doing whatever. I almost can't believe that what I'm doing is actually working now. <laughs> okay, that that didn't work so much. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win? The champion of Hyrule, hero of legend, the princess's chosen knight, wielder of the master sword and hero of Hyrule, or one glowy rock boy? Well, so far it's been the glowy rock boy, but soon, hopefully, it should be... Me. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not helped matters. <laughs> We're under half health. <laughs> now. Hmm. 
They pass. <laughs> nice. My Iron Sledgehammer is badly damaged. Time for the spear approach. Ah! But it's proven I can get the health down a lot with the um, sledgehammer, so. It's just all in the execution. I have the tools. I have the tools, it's just in the Sometimes execution. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. Yeah, I have the tools. It's just the execution. Not that way. <laughs> Let's grab on, mate. There we go. Right. <laughs> Ouch. I don't believe any of my other armor. No, none of my other armor has any more, uh, sort of... Ouch. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I'll do one more try. One more. One more. And if I fail this time, I will move on. <laughs> ah, the camera on the roof. Uh. If I recall correctly, the camera was a criticism of the game when it came out. <laughs>
healthy anyway. Concentration time. Oh, managed to stay on quite a while that time. All right, well, Slid off again. <laughs> Just grab on, Link. There we go. There we go. Nope. Oh, that was close. Go for the critical shot. more. It's got a bit of reach to it, if I can get down. Okay. Nice. Haha. <laughs> the power of of this is my last try. <laughs> Victory <laughs> jumping. I mean, I used up like most of my weapons, but you know. Did it. <laughs> the right way. So yeah, I knew I had the equipment to do it. After, you know, one of the failed ones. It was just the execution. Like it's already badly damaged. Because <clears throat> it's the rusty one. Yeah. 
gets a good view. the power of uh, being under pressure that it's your last uh, try at something. What was the stable over there? That's helpful. Well, there's that tower there on the way. Explore those ruins first. I think. Oh, I realised there was a sleeping enemy there. Things are not durable, are they? Okay, I'm actually starting to run out of weapons. Okay. <laughs> Let's try sneaking up on this one. something out of that I suppose. Musty shield. Might head on over to that uh, shrine next to the stable because there may well be some supplies at the stable. <laughs> like they often have like an axe and like a sledgehammer or and or sledgehammer I suppose. Haha! <laughs> Uh, possibly. I mean, if I find a horse before I get to the stable, I suppose. I think me getting a horse depends on me finding one before I get. Oh. 
Rude. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there's a Korok here. Yep. I forgot what I meant to do. With these. Oh, there's a shrine there. I tried standing on it. <laughs> Hasn't spawned any targets. Or anything. No targets. <laughs> I didn't see it like because it normally like has like a sound effect and like a thing but I'm gonna ignore that for now and go go to the shrine. One of these rusty weapons kind of suck but I'll take them for now. I'm gonna sneaky, <laughs> I guess. Maybe I activated it while I was fighting the Moblin, and so I didn't see like where it went. It's only one Z there at 899 others, so I don't need it. That is true. That is true. Well, the wind guides you. It's like early, uh, early game shrine. I love the shrine music. It's so good. No, not, not yet at least. Hey, go back. It's actually useful. DLC version's even better. Yeah, so I'll get to experience the DLC as well at some point. 
Obviously, I can't say when because I, <laughs> I don't really know when it uh, comes into play, but uh, you know. Spirit Orb. Skip the uh, cutscenes. No needs, just because, you know, it'll take ages if I uh, don't, frankly. I'm gonna go back to that cork. See if that means it, like, see if it's all exiting and entering the overworld to sort of reset it, so to speak. I refuse to be defeated by what is probably an early game, like, thing. <laughs> There we go. Don't know if I've ever done that one before. Hmm. You're making my idea making me doubt myself. <laughs> Drumstick. Oh, two drumsticks. Well, I suppose it does have two legs. Hmm. Let's go take out this enemy camp first. <laughs> Sometimes all you need to do <laughs> is just stun knock them so they can't call the others. I was using that one. <laughs> Whoops. I try. I normally try to use up my uh, weaker stuff first. Oh well. Hmm. 
Well, this is nearly broken, so... Oh. Come on. <laughs> Just break. There we go. Ooh, a green rupee. And a blue one. At least it's not like Skyward Sword where it has to like re explain items. Imagine if Breath of the Wild re explained items like Skyward Sword did. <laughs> The game would get very annoying very quickly, wouldn't it? The last fight to Skyward Sword and Glad was uh, rectified in the uh, remake, even if that's not the version I played. <laughs> Mind you, the whole Link staring at item animation does make for one of the funnier uh, type, one of the funnier things in speed in Zelda speedrunning. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Aim 100. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> okay, it could just run into the, um... Thing and disappear. I'll uh... actually no. I'll talk, I'll, I'll talk to these things people now. Yeah. It's beetle. Oh, this is no uh, trap door. <laughs> yeah, I love how the eight ball track is called regret. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. There's no uh, trap door for him to drop through this time. Have you got? Look what I've got. Um, Hmm. I'll indulge you, I suppose. Oh, is this this is the thing where they all make want the recipe from the castle, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he wants the recipe, doesn't he? Oh, <clears throat> well, that's good. It's 
this gets a temporary heart. Because I'm sure temporary heart is uh, what I really need right now. Ah. Uh, let's see. I'll get rid of my current woodcutter's axe. Get a fresh one. Is there a slit hanger here? Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. There are goats. <laughs> oh, shall we uh, do some uh, good old fashioned uh, 2006 goat herding? <laughs> No, no, um, what should I get rid of? Rusty sword. It'll break immediately anyway. I must scrub all the floors of Hyrule. Then the king can talk about mercy. I've scrubbed all the floors of Hyrule. Then we can talk about mercy. Take him away. <laughs> I will scrub all the floors in Hyrule. Anyways, shrine time. What type of shrine is this? Ah. Can you climb with these? Yes, you can. Just giving yourselves a trap to la a trap trip to last year. <laughs> I mean, only you know when is truly right for you to uh, go back to the game. Am I going to be close enough? Xenoblade is uh Xenoblade 3 is pretty soon, isn't it? I mean it's like my thing of, you know, I want to play through Dragon Quest Eleven again, but uh I just don't have the time at the moment.
Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, like I want to play Dragon Quest Eleven again, but well, for me, it's less games that are coming out and more just games I personally have on the go. Especially because I'm just added to the way next to that pile. <laughs> when I, I will hope I will try and get through some of my bigger games so that I can go back to Dragon Quest Eleven. Because I do, do, do love that game. And as I've said multiple times in the past, I'd love to stream it, but I also wouldn't want to sort of bring spoilers. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, not that I'm going to be doing anything like approaching, like, like, you know, 100% completion or anything for Xenoblade X. Like, uh, that's just going to be a, I'll play as much of it as I want to, kind of thing. All the floors in high wall. True, I suppose it is massive, even like that. Although, with the way it's like very mission based. It like, I'd say it kind of works in like, a sort of, like it kind of works in a way of like, I can just sort of picket it over time. Sort of thing. Like it kind of works in that regard. Well, well, and help you next time then. Play by having user time streaming at the Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I guess. I guess probably also helps that you're not like with Breath of the Wild. You like meticulously planned a lot out, like. I mean, not to say you haven't planned stuff with um, Xenoblade X, but, you know. Wait a minute, is this the shrine I think it is? Yeah, maybe not. Oh no, I think it is the shrine. Yeah. Oh boy. Everyone's favourite. <sighs> flower blight gain and hype. <laughs> yeah, flower blight gain indeed. Oh, those are flowers. I didn't see that. They didn't contrast very well with this weather.
Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt. I'm not even going to attempt to go and get that. <laughs> it's not worth it. Also, that little patch of flowers in the middle there is mean. That's very mean. I assume this must be a blessing shrine. Yeah, that little pack. Oh no, it's not a uh, blessing one that I sort of seemed it was because it had a puzzle to get in. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. I remember this one. So who needs to worry about the uh, rafts when you just use Cryo? Cryo? Yeah. Cryonis. Ouch. There goes my temporary heart. <laughs> You're probably meant to blow up those barrels to get through this, but, you know. Why do that when I have my own bombs? Man, I still love that visual after all these years. I nearly got uh, another upgrade already. Nice. Right. <coughs> I can't remember what she says when you like go on there too much, so I'm gonna see it. I can't remember if it kills you, but if it kills you, then lol. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha 
No. Okay, it just leaves you with like nearly no health. Okay. I just wanted to remember what that did. <laughs> the scream. <laughs> mm. Like, is it like really obnoxiously loud when I cough? Um, <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, behind the scenes, well, not really behind the scenes, but uh, you know, I, uh, I've, I've been ill this week. <laughs> you may have noticed my no my voice being a bit nasally on Tuesday, but yeah, I've been, I've been ill this week, so uh, that's been fun. Balloons, those things that I definitely 100% use, and I definitely don't forget that they exist. Yeah, I'm like, <clears throat> it's been like sort of throughout the week, so hopefully, I'm sort of already <clears throat> on the getting better side of it. It's nowhere near as bad as the cold I had in December, where the effects lingered until, like... Like, the sore throat effects kind of lingered until, like... <clears throat> honestly, like, a few weeks ago. <clears throat> oh, man. I lost cough as though. I don't remember my throat. No, I was gonna mute and, like, do, like, a really hard cough. Oh. Probably that got uh, at least some of it out of my system for now. Oh, look at all those drumsticks. Doing this, I, lo I love flicking them out. <laughs> I love doing that. There's an enemy camp over there, though. <clears throat> well, there's going to be a Korok under that rock, isn't there? Yeah. How did I know? Oh. The way the sunset reflects on the water. Very pretty. And running on nearly 10 year old hardware. Oh, 
people of doing this. <laughs> I love getting on top of these things and throwing bombs at them. Wait, you're not supposed to climb up. Get out of here with that nonsense. Do what I wanted. Come on. No, that's not where I wanted to roll. <laughs> oh, I just love seeing the health bars just like fly. <laughs> Backwards when I hit them with the bomb. Well, go investigate it. No? Okay. <clears throat> Come on. You know you want to investigate the thing. I know it's a bit, it's a slow method, but you know, it's safe. <laughs> and again, kind of funny. Starting to get better weapons. Oh, there's still more. Oh well. It's fine. When I say ouch, I'm meaning in-game ouch. <laughs> oh, they have more explosives down here. Uh, you haven't really missed much. You kind of just missed me running around doing stuff. Thing with the goblins. Missed. Oh. 
Yes, I will waste a fire arrow to see an explosion. No need to waste weapon durability on the metal boxes. You can just drop them on each other. Especially when you can sometimes... Uh, Get them all in one there. Uh... Oh, a sneaky river snail. Nice. <laughs> As I say, at this rate, I probably will not make it over to um, Kagrigo Village this stream just because, you know. We're just messing it out a lot. But again, that is kind of the aim of these streams, so, you know. shield is very damaged. Uh, keep reminding me. Let's go go up the tower. Get myself a bit of map. Probably save as well just in case. So there's another enemy camp before I get to the tower though. Sneaky. And kill him while the others notice. Or not. <laughs>
right. They they gonna You should stay at full health in case someone does like two damage to me. Well, I should probably do. Let's cook some food. <laughs> Mushrooms. No steamed hands, though. Anyways, <clears throat> oh, after that detour, I think it's tower time. Ruling Peaks Tower. I mean, this is probably meant to be one of your first towers, so yeah, it's... Pretty simple, no gimmicks to it, like no real challenges. Like, I assume this is not meant to be one of your first ones. So, yeah, we'll just hold up and climb. I've run out of water. Yeah, they're a cool landmark. This is going to be the first time we get this cutscene, so uh, I'm just going to mute and because uh, I love the music. music. It's such a good, uh, such a good little, uh, piece. Really, uh, sort of, I don't know, there's something, something great about it. I'll disable the uh, sensor for now, I think.
Not that I think the uh, sensor is bad, it's more just... I don't feel like having it on for now. Right. <laughs> While trying it into the top of the uh, peaks. Because you know, going through them is too easy. I don't find it too annoying, but I do tend to prefer having it off. But like if I sort of feel like, you know, oh there's no shrines around here but there must be one somewhere. That's when I like to turn it on. Like if there's sort of like, if I'm in like in a bit of a map and it's like, you know, there's like no shrines that I've uncovered myself but like, there surely must be something here kind of vibe. Just had enough stamina for that. <laughs> I think that might be a talus. Um, I'm not gonna, not gonna attempt to uh, take it on with my current uh, kit. And that's the great idea. <laughs> How to save stamina? <laughs> just constant, just constantly uh, stop climbing. <laughs> Attempt to run. The <laughs> last Talus fight went so well. I know, right? I'm sure this is what Nintendo had in mind. Or this is what Aonuma had in mind uh, with the climbing mechanic. Who needs to climb when you can just run up the mountain? I'm gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this method to quite work so well. <laughs> I was expecting some of this to be too steep to do this on. Sweet view from up here, though, I reckon. Oh, yeah, I'm on the uh, shrines right at the top. Oh, look. <laughs> it's very effective. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think what would be a good way to approach this? The, uh,. That's a pretty sweet view. I spy a shrine down there. Mark that for later. Be an even sweeter view from up there. Hmm. 
you know, because it gets a little bit shallower up here, like after this bit. So I should be able to reach, yeah, it's like a tiny bit shallower. I think I go for the higher up shrine first. There we go, shallow enough to do this. <laughs> Warm doublet time. <laughs> there we go. And this is I presume this is the these are the this is one of the thingy shrines. Where you have to like move the where you have to go in the other one to get the order. At least if I'm getting here, I can just teleport back. Yeah, twin memories. Just casually changing clothes while clinging to a vertical surface. Of course. It's like when you stuff your face full of uh, food when you're um, mid glide. Right. <clears throat> I'm just going to write in chat. <laughs> uh, so I have one at, the, one at the top, five at the bottom. And three, one, four, two, five. Yeah, it's a cool shrine idea. It's made easier on the Switch version where you can just take a screenshot of the console. Right on the console. And with you though, you gotta write it down or uh, otherwise memorize it. Yeah, I thought if I uh, go to that one first, <laughs> it was easier to get down to this one. It's easier to get down to this one from there than to climb back up. Right. And I've got to write down this one before I move them. In left to right, one is at. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. One is at the top, five is at the bottom. One, not one, two. And it's three plus three and five. Nothing. Four. Go. And now let's go do the other one. <laughs> Yeah, 
I keep going over to go for my drink, but I finished it and I can't be bothered to get another one before the end of the stream. <laughs> I mean, they're quite clearly when you do that. With uh, how sensitive this microphone is. Right. I... It's hard to tell, I've been playing Zone Blade X. I uh, went down, I, I was about to go down onto the uh, gamepad to fast travel. That is not how you, uh, not how you fast travel in this game. Nice and easy because I wrote it down. <laughs> I mean, again, when I first played it on Switch, you know, obviously I just took screenshots because <laughs> you know it's kind of the obvious thing to do on Switch. And the fifth spirit orb. Well. Not the fifth overall, but you know what I mean. Fifth currently in my possession. <clears throat> More up here as well. Get a level up view. I'm just saying, we've like manually walked all the way over here from there today. That's sunset. I presume it's the sunset <laughs> rather than sunrise because it's not been dark yet. Very pretty game. Also, I like how with these Koroks, you don't like lose the apples, you can just pick them back up again. <laughs> It was very pretty. Yeah, let's start heading downwards again.
fetch the boulder for a reason. Um. Oh, there's a shikara here. I was like half expecting that, but also not really. Oh, oh, the Korok was for pushing the boulder through the, those trees, right, I see, I see. <laughs> it wasn't for underneath the things. Right, I get you now. Oh, okay, okay, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I totally planned that. I, d I definitely knew that was there. 100% knew that was there. <laughs> Big Wind Bloom has just informed me of my uh, number of steps for the day and it is very low. <laughs> I spent most of my day in my room, to be honest. Purple rupee, nice. Hey, there we go. First time. Got it in one cycle. I'm such a pro. <laughs> pro, I mean, not really. Six spirit orbs. Yeah, another stable as well. So that's nice. <laughs> what is off center? <laughs> pro, pro gamer, gamer pro <laughs> skills kappa. Oh, <laughs> it was a text to speech. <clears throat> oh, an Alexa, nice. Mm. 
where are the frame rate? It can be a bit spotty at times on the Wii U. But, you know, it was the same on Switch at launch. friend of the dog. <laughs> I don't actually know how to like make the dogs do stuff. <laughs> I just kind of feed them. Get a fresh one. <laughs> you aren't being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? Of course I am. I'm a video game character. lots of food. I don't really have lots of food at the moment, so... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's rupees coming in. Okay, um, <laughs> what's the time? Yeah, half nine, yeah. Probably not going to be making it over to Kakariko today. <coughs> we'll do a little more, but I shan't go too much further. As you can say it's Kakuri No Village. Alright. Oops. I do like that if you accidentally waste an arrow, it's not too much of a problem because you can just pick it back up. Hmm, I wonder if there is something in these uh, obviously cracked rocks. Bomb, no. Feel nice. Anything to find in this one? Hmm. 
No. <laughs> I probably could have done that without using up all my stamina, but it might have been like a second slower. Actually, anything under the bridge. Uh, oh. I'm taking the uh, arm. Hmm. I wonder if I'm supposed to put something into this, uh... Oh, that's probably from the top of the bridge, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I suppose I could use that rock, but I think it'd be easier to throw one from the top of the bridge. <laughs> I think. Probably supposed to. Make Cryonis or something, aren't I? We can just aim completely off. That'll help. I'm going to run out of rocks at this rate. <laughs> Is it going to run out of rocks at this rate? <laughs> there we go. I kind of already need that. <clears throat> no, I think a certain you know who uh, is around here. So I think we'll we'll end. Uh, 
we will go do that and then finish up. I think a certain someone is around here. And uh, before anyone says anything, no, I will not do a voice. Because <laughs> A, I don't want to, and B, my throat. My throat's already a bit iffy. <laughs> hmm. Yes, I can see you. <laughs> the man, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> you coward. No, my throat <laughs> my throat's already not up to not quite up to talking properly, so <clears throat> my voice isn't up to uh, doing a uh, high pitched voice at the moment. Yeah, let's go get Hess to do his maracas. What I wanted to do. Ouch. Uh, I don't know the answer to that question, to be honest. Whether he's an adult or just really big. Those maracas. Here's your maracas. Let's just think was just like no <laughs> at this point. <laughs> we do have a cork seed. Yes, please. Weapon stash. Definitely. Give a bow stash next, I think. And you can't skip this. <laughs> I do love the tech. <clears throat> the text box is timed with the uh, music. Right. So. 
I think that will do it for uh, for today. <laughs> Tuna stuck in my mind. <laughs> Uh, that's from the very beginning. Uh, I don't know how to tell that it's from last time. Right, so this will be roughly today. This will be roughly today. Yeah, so... Messed around a bit on the plateau, did a little bit more. Not really much, just kind of messed around beating up some enemies and stuff. Up to the tower. Down onto uh, the main bit of Hyrule. Messed around in the outpost ruins. <laughs> Died to the talus <laughs> many times. Oh, it only shows the one death. That's kind of a shame. Went up there, did a bit over there. Yeah, that's where the first shrine I did was. Well, the first sort of shrine today. Yep, yeah, went up, <laughs> up the uh, mountain. Did the shrines down there. And uh, ended up here. So yeah, I've kind of, in a sense... Yeah, I've kind of just sort of taken a winding path around get to where I'm going. So uh, yeah, next time we'll head into Karakuikuri Village proper and uh, get some more story stuff done, head towards Hateno, whether I'll get to Hateno, couldn't tell you, depends how long I take. <laughs> um, and uh, but yeah, we'll uh, again we'll see where things take us on Tuesday. <laughs> Breath of the Wild is basically about taking one class. That is true, that is true. So as usual, uh, thank you for watching everyone who's been here, whether they've been here part of the stream, the whole stream lurked, chattered, it's always appreciated. Um, I need to check again soon, but uh, very close to, should be very close to unlocking follower remotes. So uh, look forward to that at some point. I definitely want to. There's an emote I want to make. Hopefully, I'll get it. Hopefully, I'll make it by the time I get follower emotes, because there's one I'd like people to be able to use without, um, you know, subscribing. So you know, should hopefully be a simple one to make as well, and I feel like it'll be a um, very useful one. <laughs> um. So yeah. So yeah, Tuesday, uh, since I'm back to work, um, Tuesdays are now going to be back to the usual um, sort of eight-ish, eight to half eight-ish, uh, since I'm back to work now. Um, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, all I have to say. I guess I will see people here. Well, in a couple of days' time. <laughs> oh, and as an aside, uh, my uh, well, my gamepad's only just dropped a bar of battery. It was it was at f it had four bars when I closed the game, and now it's on three. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but.